Hey, Creek Public Schools, it is Friday, October 30th, and it's time for your Friday update. You know, I just have to, I just want to say it, it's been another great week here at Creek Public Schools. Uh, we know there's a lot happening around the country. Um, you see a lot of different things on the news, but here at Crete, here at Crete Public Schools, we're rocking and rolling, and it's so exciting to be able to say that. Now, our COVID situation is changing just a little bit, but nothing to be alarmed by. Currently, we have five active cases in the district. That's just a slight uptick from last week. Uh, we do know that Public Health Solutions is keeping the dial at orange again uh, for the community. However, for us here at Crete Public Schools, we're going to stay at yellow. Uh, what we're doing is working, and so we don't want to change any of that right now. Uh, what we have to make sure we do, especially as our fall activities have ended and we've, we're heading into the winter season with everything being indoors, it is going to remain critical that we're wearing those face coverings, we're practicing social distancing, and we're washing our hands frequently. Those are the things that are working and that are keeping our kids in classrooms and our uh, athletes and performers on the stage and on the field. And we're excited to be able to offer those opportunities. We just want to keep going with them. A couple different things came out this week from the NSAA. That's the governing body that uh, oversees activities. They put some mandates in place uh, to make sure that there are safe practices in all schools for all competitions. So for the winter season, uh, any NSAA sanctioned event like basketball or wrestling, uh, all non-active participants, so that would be the, the kids on the bench, the kids on the sideline, and coaches will be required to wear a mask at all times. Spectators will be required to wear a mask at all times. Now, what's good about that is it's creating some consistency. So it doesn't matter if we're playing in Crete or we're playing uh, in, at Norris, it's the same rules. The other issue that we're, that we're working through and we're starting to get it hammered out a little bit, not a huge change for us though either, is we're still under that current DHM that limits indoor capacity to 50%. So uh, what we're looking at right now is like we did with football, probably four tickets uh, per participant. Uh, but we'll come out with some more details as we, as we wrap those things up uh, and get them all figured out uh, before the winter season officially starts. But just know those are there. Uh, I will be sure and link the NSAA winter guidelines on our website, um, but they're also at nsaahome.org uh, for you to take a look at. Uh, the last thing I want to remind you of is uh, free lunch and breakfast. I know there's been a lot of confusion around that from the beginning of the year. We'll own that. That's on us. Uh, but the federal government has extended uh, the free lunch program. And so all kids at every building will get free breakfast and free lunch for the rest of the school year, which is awesome. So glad we can take advantage of that. Hey, don't forget to reach out. If you have a question, a comment, uh, you just want to talk, uh, hit that Connect with Dr. McDowell forum on our website, and I'll be sure and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a great Halloween weekend. Be safe, be well, and we'll see you next week.